Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So ever since I did the video on burning things in a vacuum chamber, or rather finding out that things can't burn if there's no external pressure supplied, a lot of people have been wanting me to determine whether or not model rocket engines can burn inside a vacuum. Because, well, rockets, uh, NASA rockets burn in space, and that kind of contradicts what I found in that video. So, let's try it out and see what it takes to get some rockets to actually burn in a vacuum. It's a little bit of a crummy day, but weather's fine inside the chamber. So here's my setup. As you can see, I've got a wooden dowel stuck into a jar with some lead shot to help uh, be as a nice base. I've got this wooden plank, which is on a pivot, and there's the rocket motors rotating around, and ah, uh, the rain is picking up. Uh, there, now I've added a tarp. So you can see the uh, rocket motors here are taped to the ends of the stick, and uh, when I set these off using the igniter that comes with them, so I'll just have this in there, and I'll run an electric current through it, and this should take off and burn. So let's do one quick test with this uh, at normal atmospheric pressure, and then we'll take it down to a vacuum. Hopefully this water isn't going to cause too much trouble. It, it really shouldn't. It's going to limit the amount of vacuum I can achieve, but I wasn't going to take it down to a perfect vacuum anyway. Okay, control test at atmospheric pressure in three, two, one. Well, that made a bit of noise, didn't it? <laughs> Let's uh, see what happened in there. <laughs> Pull this off. Nothing but smoke. <laughs> ah. This might be a problem. Looks like the rocket actually detached itself from the stand. Let's make sure my camera's okay. Looks fine. Just a lot of smoke. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually odd. The uh, one that lit is actually not the one that came off. The one that came off was the uh, counterweight. So, there you go. Alright, we're vacuuming out the chamber. You see down here all my scraps of stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's let that pull most of the air out. So I'm sitting here vacuuming and vacuuming and the pressure is not dropping down to the 25 inches of mercury that it normally does. And then I realized, it's raining. The air pressure's low today. 25 inches is no longer the minimum. Anyway, uh, now that we're under vacuum, let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. Let's turn off the pump here. All right. In three, two, one. Well, I didn't hear anything happen. Doesn't mean nothing did, because maybe the sound was completely blocked. Alrighty. Should be able to lift the lid now. It doesn't look like it burned. Still in the same spot and the igniter hasn't moved. Let's uh, turn this camera off. Let's see that igniter. It got hot, it burned, but the rocket did not ignite. Let's pull that off of there. Looks like something burned in there, but it didn't ignite and push itself around the chamber. How about that? So the igniter fired, but the rocket failed to burn or produce thrust. And you might have noticed that I didn't use the little plastic plugs that come with the motor. Now let's try it with the plug in place. So let's stick this in there, and let's insert the plug. And for good measure, I've added some glue over top of the plug. So now that I've confined it, let's see how it does. Oh, 
Honestly, I was expecting it to work that time, but I guess it makes sense. This motor is not designed to run in a vacuum. This is designed for sea level or you know, atmospheric use. You see the uh, pressure is released far too quickly and the gunpowder gun inside can't sustain a burn. So what I need to do is figure out a way to keep the pressure up long enough for the gunpowder to get going and start pressurizing itself. So this is what I've come up with. I have sealed everything inside of a little plastic bottle, as you can see. The igniter and everything's inside. Now hopefully the air pressure around the motor will stay high enough, long enough, for the motor to fully ignite. And then hopefully this uh, little hot glue plug will actually blow out and allow the rocket to continue. Once again under vacuum, let's see what happens. Turning on the motor in three, two, one. I think something moved that time. Did the pressure gauge jump or drop or increase? <laughs> it looks like it did. So that's how much uh, gas the motor produced. All right, let's see what it's got in here. Ah. Ooh. Oh dear, looks like it smoked my iPhone a little bit. Didn't hurt it too bad though. The back end of the bottle's burned off. Looks like it was successful. So there you go. Rocket motors can produce just as much thrust, if not a little bit more, in vacuum as they can in air. As they're not pushing against the air, they are pushing against the fuel that is being burned and thrown overboard. Now the rocket was difficult to ignite in a vacuum because it needed some pressure to get the fuel grain to burn, but once I did that, it did just fine. And since I was able to figure it out, I'm sure the folks at NASA can do it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.